When you think about Alaska, one of the things that comes to mind is dog sledding. Well, today we're going to be dog sledding on Mendenhall Glacier by helicopter out of Juneau, Alaska. Yeah, this is an adventure in a lifetime, y'all, so come on with us. Dog sledding on Mendenhall Glacier by helicopter out of Juneau is approximately a three-hour excursion. You will be picked up at the cruise port by motor coach and driven to the airfield, which is approximately a 20-minute drive. Once you arrive at the Temsco airfield, you will have a 25-minute safety training and outfitting. The outfitting includes your glacier over boots that slip on over your shoes, even over a prosthetic leg like I have. This is your opportunity to take a restroom break as there are no restrooms at the dog sled camp. It is approximately a 15 minute helicopter ride from the airfield to the sled dog camp. The helicopter holds six passengers. There are two front seats and four rear seats. Seating arrangements are assigned based on weight and balance of the aircraft. Therefore, changing seats is not allowed. You will have a scenic tour over the Tungus National Rainforest, mountain peaks, and the famous Mendenhall Glacier. Here we're approaching the dog sled camp, and this is so exciting, you can feel it. You can almost hear the dogs barking now. The anticipation of seeing these dogs is a thrilling experience. 260 dogs and all those mushers are waiting to take you on the adventure of a lifetime. You will get to spend approximately one hour up on the glacier at the dog camp. And the dogs are so excited to run. You can hear them barking. They are so loud. <laughs> yeah, he's heading over now. <laughs> Upon arrival at the camp, each group will be assigned a professional musher. The musher will talk to you briefly about the glaciers and the camp and give you a safety briefing. Well, welcome everybody. If you can gather over here for me. Can't really be too certain how much snow or probes are only about 15 feet. We know it's more than that. Last year, whenever we got up here, we're pretty sure it was close to 50 feet, measuring by the, how much we had left at the end of the summer. But it does take a lot of snow to make that much glacial ice, uh, the 2,000 feet. They say roughly 100 feet of snow compresses down to one foot of that deep blue glacial ice. On top of being on the Mindenhall, you're also in the Tongass National Forest, roughly 17 million acres, the largest national forest in the U.S. We do have a permit from the Forest Service to operate up here. They give us all sorts of rules and regulations for what we can and can't do. Uh, one example, they do require that all of our dog houses and tents gets flown by helicopter out of here as well. We like to claim that that gives us the world's most expensive dog waste. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. We do have roughly 280 Alaskan Huskies here in camp with us. And that is going to be the breed of all of our dogs. It is. As you approach the dogs with the musher, you can feel the dog's excitement. 
the musher will hitch up the team and introduce you to those Huskies. Each team will consist of 10 to 14 Huskies depending on the weight of the guests. There are approximately 280 Alaskan sled dogs that call Mendenhall Glacier Valley home for the summer. Tents that we live in, uh, we're here seven days a week. We get one day off per week, and we're here all the way until the middle of September. September. Yeah. Mid September. Yep. And we have we have roommates, and we all live in these tents. We have little propane heaters to keep warm. And then really warm sleeping bags. How cold does it get at night? Uh, right now it's getting to freezing. Okay. So the snow's freezing at night and the water. But the dogs love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hey, we want to take a moment to ask you if you're enjoying this video in any way, how about giving us a thumbs up? And subscribe to the channel. We would really love to have you as part of the Sea Lake Journey crew. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a member or hit the super thanks icon below. We really do appreciate it. Mm. Now, back to the video. Mm. Okay, everybody, now it's time to get ready and get on that dog sled ride. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, I want to ride, I want to ride. Woohoo! The dogs will dash off and take you on a one mile exhilarating trip across the snow fields. Even though the dogs are on a glacier, it is still summer and it is hot for them. The dogs will stop for a short break to cool off every quarter of a mile. If you would like to drive the dog sled, you do have the opportunity to switch seats at every rest break. Guests are a secondary driver for the musher because the musher will have full control of the team from the front sled. But the guest driver on the rear sled will have to know and pay attention to when to apply the brakes. You must use both hands while driving. Drivers will need other guests to hold their camera and trust me, you will fall off if you do not drive with both hands. <laughs> like I did. Because <laughs> that team takes off like a bullet. And I had to run to catch up to the team. <laughs> you might want to take some extra cash with you so that you can tip the mushers. Due to liability reasons, the staff cannot lift guests into or out of the helicopter. Guests must be physically able to step up on an 18 inch step to board the aircraft without assistance. Walkers, crutches, canes, wheelchairs, and motorized scooters are not permitted on the aircraft. 
Guests are not allowed to stay in the helicopter as the helicopter will drop you off on the glacier, return to the airfield, and pick up more guests. Basically, the helicopter is transporting guests to and from the glacier all day. Children under the age of 12 must be able to understand the rules of interaction with the dogs and parents must be in direct supervision of the children at all times. Please note that there is not a child rate for this excursion. A weight surcharge of $200 may apply. Due to the weight and balance limitations, guests weighing 250 pounds or more fully clothed, will be assessed a weight surcharge. The extra surcharge ticket will be issued at the tour office. Carry-on bags of any kind, including camera bags, purses, and backpacks, are not allowed on the helicopter. Passengers will place all of these belongings in a locker before boarding the helicopter. Mm. These dogs are just so happy. It is crazy the way that they eat the snow when they're thirsty. <laughs> I know, they eat the snow, they're wagging their tails, they're barking. What a great time they're having. They absolutely love doing that. <laughs> and of course, those dogs love having a thank you Pat on the head for a great job well done. Food and beverages, smoking products, including e-cigarettes, iPads, iPad minis, tablets, drones, GoPro sticks, and other extendable items are not permitted on this excursion. Be sure to bring your sunglasses as the sun glare off the snow can be quite bright even on a cloudy day. Each sled accommodates four adults. You will have an opportunity to thank the dogs, and if there are puppies on location, you'll be able to visit them as well. And you're gonna have excellent photo opportunities. Sure. One little stumble bumble, but we made it. Yeah, I, I did a face plant on the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little difficult for an amputee because, you know, that one leg don't work as well as it should, but still, it's so much fun. It's great. <laughs> and you sink in the snow, so it's hard to tell where you're at. Yeah, and it don't sink even like your foot goes down in one direction. <laughs> Guests must be able to walk on uneven, snowy, and icy surfaces and stand for about an hour. For your safety, it is suggested that you walk with shorter stride than normal. This will help you maintain your balance. After you've rode the dog sled, it's time to get back on the helicopter and head back to the airfield. This is a 15 minute flight. At that point, you will return your gear and visit the gift shop. Finally, you'll take that last 15 minute motor coach ride back to your cruise ship. This is an adventure of a lifetime. Absolutely. And totally worth the money. Bucket list people, put it in your bucket and find your way to get there. If we could have done it twice, we would have paid to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. <laughs> hey, we want to take a moment to ask you if you're enjoying this video in any way, how about giving us a thumbs up? 
and subscribe to the channel. We would really love to have you as part of the Sea Lake Journey crew. Until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.